Andy Hillier and in this lesson I'm going to teach you how to play House of the Rising Sun by the Animals on the guitar. Uh, it was actually one of the first songs I learned on the guitar and actually when I was learning guitar, everyone who played guitar, uh, they seemed to play this song. It's a good one for getting your like normal open chords and a bit of picking as well, so it's a really nice one to play. Just before I teach you it though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel which is Andy Hillier, if you could give me a like on the video and leave me some comments in the comment section including any songs you want to learn and just let me know what you think of the video as well. So we've got three lines of music that we need to learn for this. There's the intro which is also the instrumental, it just goes around the same bit. Then it goes uh, two lines of the verse and it basically keeps repeating these three lines. Uh, it's all based around the same sort of idea with the picking. Um, so the first line sounds like this. So we're starting off with an A minor chord, first finger B1, second finger D2, third finger G2. We'll just go through the chords of this line first and then we'll put the picking in. So A minor, then move your third finger to A3 and we get a C chord. And then it goes to a D chord, which is your second finger E2, first finger G2, third finger B3. And then this F chord, which is your first finger barred across the E and the B strings at the first fret. Second finger on G2, third finger D3. And then back to an A minor chord, an E7 chord, which is your first finger on G1, second finger A2, back to A minor, and then E7. Okay, so the picking A minor chord, we're going to play the A, D, G, and then B, like this. And then you can play the E string. And then the B string, and then take your fingers off on the last hit of that bar and play the open G string. So you get this. And then you do the same idea with the picking on with the C chord. We've got. On the D chord, we're starting from the D string and we're going to go down to the E string. And then you play the E string again. B, take your fingers off and play the open G string, so the third bar. Same idea with the picking hand on the F chord. It's, it's nice on the end of each bar, you can take your fingers off to get to the next chord, it makes it a bit easier. So the first four bars go. Then it goes back to A minor. And then we go to E7, playing the E string, the D, G, and then the B. So then you play E, B, open G string, back to A minor. Then E7, slightly different um, strings. It doesn't matter, you could play the same uh, strings that you played for the previous E7, it doesn't really matter, but I've put in there E, A, D, G. So. Taking your fingers off for the last note. So let's try the whole of that instrumental line nice and slowly. Okay, so that's the instrumental, and then it goes to the verse, which is based around the same idea. So it's got A minor, C, D, F, A minor, uh, but then it goes to a C chord, and then it goes to an E7 for two bars. So same chords, just slightly different order. So ready? Nice and slowly.
And then it goes to the next line of the verse. Again, it's just the same chords, just in a different order. You've got A minor for a bar, C for a bar, D for a bar, and then F for a bar, A minor, E7, and then it jumps straight back to the instrumental. So let's just try that line, A minor. Ready, and... And then it will jump straight back to the instrumental. Okay, so let's try and put it all together then. It will get, we won't play up to speed. The speed of the track is like... Uh, it's quite fast. Uh, you can play along to the track um, when you get it nailed. So let's do it nice and slowly. Here we go. Ready... Um. And it just keeps going round that through the whole of the song. Hopefully you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson of mine, especially the person who requested it. Thank you for the request. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, which is Andy Hillier, if you could give me a like on the video and leave me some comments in the comment section, including where in the world you're from, what you thought of the video, and any requests that you've got. Thanks for watching this. I do appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time.